We continue our coverage of the latest case of censorship in American media. Jesse Ventura's article on the events of September 11th was banned by the news website, The Huffington Post. For more on this, we're joined live by Arte's Anastasia Cherkina from New York, who sat down to discuss the issue with Ventura himself. Anastasia, the Huffington Post deemed Ventura's article too controversial, and we've actually posted this article on RT's, we RT's website. What was Jesse Ventura really, what did he really write about? Was it really that explosive? Well, uh, Christine, apparently for the Huffington Post it was. This article was called What Really Happened on September 11th, and it looked at yet another group of people in the United States, about a thousand architects and scientists and engineers who were in uh, a range of people to sign a new petition for a new investigation into the events of 9-11. And basically, uh, the, the, the questions that this article raises were, how is it possible that uh, a 200,000 uh, 200, steel towers came down in a matter of just seconds? Could it have been uh, a controlled demolition? Uh, how come this is the only event in history when uh, such, a hu such huge skyscrapers were able to go down in just a matter of seconds, uh, basically from uh, what the official version said was just fire damage? So this article just really brings up these questions that people have been asking throughout the last almost 10 years and, uh, you know, just asking questions that people want answered. Was there any explanation, though, given by news editors who banned this 9-11 article, or did it just disappear into thin air? Well, uh, Christine, what happened was the Huffington Post apparently actually asked Jesse Ventura to contribute by writing an article on any sort of topic. And first they posted this on their main, on their front page, and uh, then just very quickly it disappeared into thin air. Uh, an editor's note actually appeared on the page where the article was saying that uh, Huffington, Post, uh, Huffington Post editorial policies don't allow coverage on, of conspiracy theories, including 9-11. Uh, and you were able to sit down with Ventura last night to ask him about this whole ordeal. How is he reacting to this? Well, uh, Christine, uh, Jesse Ventura is definitely someone who is uh, known for not mincing his words, and he was pretty blunt when it came to this whole ordeal as well. Uh, let's take a look at what he said. Your article on September 11th appeared on the front page of the news website, the Huffington Post, only to promptly be removed. What do you think that was? Why did that happen? Fear? Uh, censorship? Uh, yeah. I, I, I can't believe the Huffington Post today will practice censorship. They asked me to be a contributing editor, and they said, write about anything you want. So it was the second time I did something, and they removed it. Well, I got news for them. I won't ever write for them again, and I know Andrew, Huffington, Ms. Huffington's always asking me, oh, you got to write for my paper, you got to write for it. Well, I got news for her. She just got her last article. I won't do a thing with the Huffington Post because I don't like it when people censor what I have to say. Well, uh, there you have it. Jesse Ventura told us that nothing like this has ever happened to him before. And uh, he was really shocked by this, uh, what he called, really obvious censorship. Anastasia, it looks like even 10 years after September 11th, almost, just questioning the official version of what happened seems to still be off limits in the mainstream media. What do you think? Well, you know, Christine, that's a very good point you're making. Uh, even though throughout these years, the numbers of people have really been growing, of people who are not fearing asking certain questions about what happened, who are not fearing to speak out about it. And we're seeing more and more public figures in the United States talking about it. And uh, what they're saying is that they're not making any assumptions. They're just asking questions, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but what we've been seeing is the mainstream media has uh, some of them more carefully, others more obviously, avoiding the coverage of the events of September 11th. And sometimes we're seeing, uh, you know, anchors basically getting uh, sort of visually fidgety when a guest uh, brings up the issue of 9-11. Uh, let's take a look at the comment that Jesse Ventura made to us about this. You're often accused of scandalizing the events of 9-11. Can you sum up your position for us? And what do, you, what do you say to those people who don't agree with what you say? Scandalize it? All I do is ask questions. In this country, has it gotten, and that's what bugs me about 9-11. 9-11's an event you're not allowed to ask a question about. Why do you think this topic is off-limit? Because clearly they don't want any questions on it. You know, right away, if you question what they told you about 9-11, they, they throw onto you you're unpatriotic. Well, I don't fear that. 
Well, uh, yeah, no, that's what that's exactly what happened to Jesse Ventura in this latest, latest incident. And what we have to ask our, ourselves, and what he has been asking himself, is basically, is is this just the first time? And will things get even worse? And Anastasia, you were talking about how sometimes people get fidgety at the mention, and a lot of times, I mean, I know you went to this conference a few days ago. A lot of times, what we see, especially on TV, the people questioning 9/11 seem to be a little eccentric, seem to be a little different. But now that we have Jesse Ventura, the Former governor of Minnesota. I, I mean, this is a very public face on this matter. Do you see things changing now that this is happening? Well, uh, Christine, I have to say, Jesse Ventura is uh, also a pretty eccentric, per eccentric, eccentric personality. But uh, you're right. For the last couple of years, people have uh, those who don't agree with people questioning the events of 9/11 have really sometimes been trying to show them as sort of uh, you know psycho and phony and calling them names. But we are seeing more public figures talk about this. Uh, you're right. Jesse Ventura is an American politician. He wasn't elected for just no reason, and uh, more and more people have been uh, speaking out about this. You know, renowned editors, journalists, and so on. So it's definitely just growing. All right, Anastasia Cherkina joining us from our New York studio.